What's up guys, Dark Dally here. Today I'm going to continue on some of my series on ways to increase security and fortify your settlement. I have started a new settlement since my last video. I want to expand upon those ideas and make something far tougher, just safer and more secure in every way to face these giant raids that we're getting. I showed you some clips of a raid that I got, which was somewhere around 20 or so raiders. Well, later that uh, later that day after I uploaded the video, Sanctuary got hit again. This time, I counted 47 bodies before three more stragglers came in. So 50. It was it was 50 raiders, and it, it was I, I I still love this mod that causes the, the large raids. The mod I'm using, by the way, is entitled. Immersive gameplay. Sorry, that's it. And this time I'm actually, um, as a side note, I'm going to put links to all the mods that I'm using in my description to clarify any questions or anything like that. So with these large raids that immersive gameplay gives, I'm looking for more and more ways to fortify my settlement. And so I have started this settlement here at Starlight Drive-In, and I'm definitely going for a nice, good aesthetic. I'm using a mod I was not using last time which allows me to place some of these items. I'm using Unlocked Settlement Objects. It's a very popular mod. I did not have that loaded in my load order on my last video because of a glitch, which has since been fixed, I guess. Or maybe I was just reading the new update wrong. Whatever, I got it to work, so I'm using objects from that now. Now, here's a couple things. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to show you in this video so you know what you're in for. First of all, I've come up with a new and cool way to stay protected and provide fire and that's these cool little windows that I made up here I'll show you exactly how I make these very cool allows me to fire from any angle and maintain as much cover as possible I'll show you how I made those They're pretty simple I'm using my same trick down here for this door I just really really like this it's handy. I know it's clunky. It's bigger than a switch, but that's the point. It's bigger than a switch. So if I hear gunshots echoing out, which is very common to Starlight Drive-In, because enemies spawn over there, sipping super mutants come from over there. That's one reason I wanted to build a settlement here, because this place is so high traffic. You hear the gunshots, and you can just run in and just click that so nice and easily. Now, the other thing I want to show you is something I started doing before with the regular raids this was kind of a concern and that concern is telling my settlers from the raiders when i'm trying to defeat a raid with these large raids and most all the enemies in humongous heavy bulky armor it becomes even harder to tell them apart now i defended sanctuary the last couple times successfully without shooting any of my settlers but that's not always been the case sometimes i'm not sure so i finally sat down and devised a uniform for my settlers and i'm gonna start giving this to all of them this is just my own little idea i think it's kind of a cool idea i wanted to pick something that would stand out from a distance but wasn't too flashy or ugly and so i went with shadow black combat armor with one arm brown kind of matches the helmet with the brotherhood of steel logo so what i'm going to start doing is simply equipping all my settlers in this and that's one thing that's going to help when i have 30 or 40 gunners raiders you know automatrons whatever swooping down on my settlement i'll know who my guys are because they'll have one black arm one brown arm combat armor i think that's kind of a cool idea um as far as this place goes this is still very much a work in progress it's still mostly just a shell back here whoa how did she get over there guys is it just me or was she not wait oh that's piper okay you know i'm not even gonna edit that out i'm gonna leave that in <laughs> yeah i did it to my companion too she's my my kind of my this character's permanent companion so i gave her the uniform too okay guys so that was me being stupid this is still kind of just a shell back here i'm not sure exactly what this building is going to be yet but i did know that i wanted to incorporate i do love these oh it's not hooked up yet I do love my power windows. I'm going to have those there. So this is going places. I'm just not sure where yet. I want like a military feel to it. Okay, so let's get back up here to what I want to show you. And then, I, oh yeah, I have this little area here. Again, use it, utilizing points that I can cover from if I'm getting too much fire through the window. 
or simply close the door. This right here is also something, uh, this is pretty simple, I'll show you that too, how I did that. First what I promised, these guys here. So let's go ahead and turn on build mode. And I will show you what goes into that. Let's do one out here. Now, as I said, I'm using Unlock Settlement Objects. It kind of moves some of these menus around. And if you read the mod author's FAQ on the Bethesda site, he explains why the menus are shifted around. So some things, you'll, you'll see me move to some weird areas. Let's go ahead. Let's sit down at basic floor. Let's use uh, what I was using. I like these floors. And grab a door. And of course it wants to be difficult. Of course, these doors right here, I should mention, are very finicky about where they snap. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try it, they simply won't snap and you can move stuff around all you want I think I heard it. There we go. That said, to get these three doors exactly where I wanted them, to avoid having to tear your entire structure apart and start from scratch, just put them up first. Put them where you want them, then build the building because they don't always go where you're going to want them to go. Let's go ahead and get a generator here to power this. Just a little guy. And now all I did was I went to, again, this is Unlock Settlement Objects is the name of the mod, the Fences and Walls, and I grabbed, I'm really digging, these guys. Let's put down one of these. You don't want to use this one. I'll show you why. After you place this one, you can't move it anymore. It becomes scrap. This one you can actually remove. And I see, you know, the ability to remove as in move it again, because you'll have to, because we need to put down the rug, so we can use the rug glitch. Then we'll put this guy on the rug. And then you can, what I did was I simply just, I just took this and it creates a cool look. And then just kind of put this, I'm not gonna do it perfectly here, you get how it works. Inside of that, Go ahead and slide this rug out. Now, you want to make sure that when you do this, you already have all the other walls and the ceiling up. You see how it kind of sticks out? It, You know, a, another wall or ceiling may not be inclined to snap if this is partially clipped through. So make sure you do this last. And, well, that's really all there is to that. And it creates this cool little window. Why the mesh? Why am I so mesh crazy? I explained that in my last video, and it's also pretty obvious. It stops explosive projectiles from coming through the windows, which is a serious, you know, issue in these heavy raids. Now, as far as this other window, actually what I did was just simply exactly that. I placed one of the security gates from the fences menu and the unlock settlements mod, used the rug glitch and moved it right here. Why? I just, I, I wanted a different look and it does look cool. Again, just make sure you already have all your walls and ceilings in place before you do it. All right, guys, this settlement is looking good and it's definitely going places. I'm looking forward to showing you guys what all I end up doing here. Oh, there's one more thing here actually. I now I have a dedicated, I know this fortification doesn't really do anything, it's just for looks, so I want some flashy fortification. This is my generator shed. When I was building this place, like when I first started building, because this the immersive gameplay mod which makes this difficulty so hard because it's so extreme I built myself like a little safe room while I was building this just so I had some place to hide and sure enough I got raided while I was building it now it wasn't an actual raid it was just a super mutant hunting party you know that spawns over there and they come in but one of them was a super mutant master with a 50 cal minigun I shit you not <laughs> and at the time, I was still building this, and this door wasn't here yet, and sure enough, you destroy that generator. So yeah, we're protecting your generators is definitely important. So I have a dedicated little building here. Now, before I sign off, I'm sure you just noticed my notification that Sanctuary is under attack. Well, this should be fun. Let's, let's go check that out. Oh, God, it's going to be something. I, I love the mod and the difficulty that it gives the game, the realism. You know, I talk a lot about immersive games. 
it, it makes it so that it's pretty easy to die but by that same token it's pretty easy for you to kill them too you know whereas and I have died you know you can die from a single headshot wearing power armor and I have but that, by that same token you know you can kill that 50 cal minigun totem super mutant master you can also kill him with a single well placed headshot so let's go to sanctuary and see what all this fuss is about I have not improved its fortifications they are as they were and should be pretty sufficient I'm really not worried about anything getting destroyed because as soon as I arrive here I'm sure my frame rate will drop and I apologize for that in advance but with the mods I'm running and the 30 or 40 or however many raiders it spawns in it's definitely okay let's go ahead and lock down everything with my switches it did drop my frame rate a bit last time let's see what we've got oh shh yeah don't want to be up there and these fortifications they do work pretty well Alright guys, this is going to be a long, drawn out battle, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Subscribe if you like what you see. There's always more content coming. My, guy, my name is Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.